The must as syntax and the vtext directive bind the data to the UI as plain text. But sometimes we might need to render HTML itself. For example, let's say we have a data property with a value enclosed within bold tags. So brand name is going to be bold and then within the bold tag code evolution. Now you may never write your values this way, but there would be some scenario in your application where the data that comes from an API or a web service contains HTML tags. So let's try to bind this brand name to our template and have a look. I'm going to create a paragraph tag within the paragraph tag, double curly braces and over here, brand name. Similarly, I'm going to create another paragraph tag and over here, this time we text is equal to brand name. So now if you save this and refresh our browser, you can clearly see the bold tag in the UI. So to render proper HTML, Vue.js provides the vHTML directive. So I'm going to create another paragraph tag and this time I'm going to use vHTML directive and then to this assign the brand name. So let's save this and refresh our browser and now if you have a look, we have the actual bold brand name. So that is the vHTML directive. But when you use vHTML directive, it is very important to keep in mind that you should only render the content that you trust. If you're using a third party API, it is very risky to use the vHTML directive because it might lead to cross site scripting attacks, making your application vulnerable to security threats. Well, that is about binding text and binding HTML in Vue.js. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.